Is that right? Perfect fit. You know, I've not read about these anywhere, Arthur. Car mags and that. Oh, it's too recent an innovation, Wally. But it's only a matter of time before the world press starts singing their praises, which is why I'm suggesting you get in now before the prices go through the roof. If I do work, I mean, uh, you, you've got time to do everything. Oh, guaranteed. I mean, instead of slinging your hands in front of your face and screaming, you just pull this little toggle at the side and the body protector inflates and saves you from very nasty injury. And remember, the body protector goes with you on those terrifying occasions when the learners insist on using their own cars. And it does, of course, conform to all known British safety standards. So there's Italian Navy on the side here. Yeah, and it's uh, merely colour coding. One up from Royal Blue. What do you reckon, then? All right. Why not? <laughs> I'd have taken up boxing as a career if I'd wanted to get smacked this often. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to tell me? How do you mean? Well, I mean, uh, all these accidents. You were in control of the vehicles, were you? Of course. You didn't get a little tired or emotional during a lesson? Never. Well, what do you want about Arthur? The do-it-yourself off-licence. Oh, no, it's not like that, Arthur. No, I, mean, I never touch it at work. No, I've, I've not had a chance to shift it, that's all. You've been done. This is all foreign. Of course it is. That's why I brought it. Abroad? I go once a month. France. Stock up on supplies. A sea journey? Well, doesn't the supermarket stock this stuff? Cost, Arthur. Save a fortune. Especially now they've got these new rules. What new rules? Beers and wine and that. You can bring back tons of the stuff. Provided it's for personal use. <laughs> yeah, it's Europe what's done it. Do you know, I saved over 200 quid on what this stuff would have cost me in England. Two hundred. More you buy, more you save. Well, it must be a system that's sadly open to abuse. I mean, how do they know it's for personal use? Damn. Check the Arctics, I suppose. Rest of the time, they trust people to be honest. An Englishman's greatest virtue, Wally. No, it's too risky, Arthur. I'm happy the way things are. Dave, remember the words of Kennedy. Ask not what the Winchester can do for you, but rather what you can do for the Winchester. Ikeinum binliner. I mean, look at what it's costing us. We need to sell this at twice what we are now to make a decent profit. Put it on the slate, Dave. Thanks, Arthur. Dave, this is an opportunity we can ill afford to miss. Yeah, sounds good to me, if the figures are right. Yeah, but what about my licence, right? If customers find out we're planning to sell the drinks on, I'm at a creek. Dave, unless the Winchester can pull itself out of the mire of financial under-expansion, our licence won't be worth printing anyway. Yeah, but it's me what is taking the chance, Arthur. It's my name over the door. Look, if we told customs it was Dipso Pete's birthday and we were getting in provisions, we could drive two lorry loads through and we still wouldn't be lying. No, no, I'm sorry, Arthur. It is not worth it. That's my final word. Very well. You forced me to offload via my other outlets. But, Dave, perhaps after the first trip, when you see the magnitude of the savings, you might be able to conquer your fears. Are we still up for it, then, Arthur? Ray, there is a European liquor lake out there, and you and me are going to take the plunge. What you got there? First rule of an import undertaking, Ray. Always have something to export for the outward leg. Blackpool 1968? The Olympic dream? Yeah, I always thought they were a bit previous. What are you going to do with them? You are going to customise them, Ray. Fresh liquor paint, bit of nifty work with a metal file, and you are looking at two dozen eminently sellable Eiffel Towers. <laughs> These look nothing like the Eiffel Tower. Trust me, Ray. To all but the most trained architectural eye, once you crown a conversion with a French flag, those would be the real thing. Dave, thank goodness. I need to check in the storeroom. Did you keep a spare key somewhere? What you doing? Having a sweep around? I won't be long. Yeah, but, uh, what you doing here? Well, it seems ridiculous, me venturing to foreign parts on a booze run and not taking the opportunity to replenish one or two depleted items. Arthur, we've been... Dave, you were here all the time. You didn't know what I was doing. You thought it was from Mario's on the corner. Your licence is secure. 
That is not the point, Arthur. Anyway, you don't know what we need. I do spend a bit of time in this place, Dave. I know which way the poison's flowing. Two crates of gin, two crates of whiskey, and uh, I thought we'd get half a dozen bottles of that yellow stuff. Brighten the place up a bit. <laughs> that has been here ever since John Charles left for Juventus. We don't need any more of that. Nobody touches it. Dave, I take the Ronnie Biggs approach on this one. You're either in or you're out. Somewhere in between is no place to be. Six bottles of yellow stuff. No, no, bring those up the front, Ray. I'm careful with them. They're very nearly antiques. What are you doing? Headlights. You have to adjust them before they let you on the roads over there. God knows why. You know, Arthur, I can't believe we're actually going to do it. I mean, it is abroad and nobody's making you go. Ray, we can no longer think of ourselves as an island race. The businessman who stands still today is a goner. You nearly ready? Not half. Been raring to go all morning. Ray, I want you in the right frame of mind for this trip. This is a commercial venture, not a day out to Canvey Island. This could be the beginning of a regular entente de... What's his name? I want them to know they're dealing with kosher businessmen, not dopey tourists looking for a bit of gorgonzola. <laughs> Arthur, we get off the ferry, bang round the Ipermarsh, spend the rest of the day sampling the local vino. I mean, it's a bit hard to treat like a major international summit. Typically, Ray, you'll fail to appreciate the finer points of this operation. <laughs> what are you talking about? We are not going to be duped like the thousands of Brits who make this trip once a year. The supermarket lark is for mugs only. Yeah, but that's where you go, Arthur. That's where you get your bargains. Where else is there? I have a contact, Ray. Suffice it to say, he has guaranteed to supply all the gear we need direct from the supplier at rock-bottom prices. A contact? In France? The Daily Enterprise's offshore involvement is best kept under wraps. But take it from me, my man will see us right. Yes, how do you manage with the language? The world of international commerce has its own vocabulary, Ray. Dave, what are you doing here? I couldn't stand the thought of you going all that way and coming back with crates of booze that I couldn't shift. Arthur. If you are determined to go through with this, you are going to need a purchasing advisor. Dave, I find such loyalty very touching. And when it comes to state settling time, I won't disappoint. Climb aboard. Don't put them there, Arthur. I can't see. Well, I've got to put them somewhere prominent. Well, why don't you stick them on the back? Dave, much as I appreciate your sudden appearance from the sub's bench, need I remind you we all have specific duties on this trip. Ray is in charge of language and lifting. You get to taste the wine. I am in charge of creative policy decisions. There's nothing to worry about. I'm not. I'm looking forward to it. We're stocking up for private use. What are you telling me for? Keep calm and don't forget. Look them straight in the eye. Don't flinch. We ain't done nothing wrong yet, Arthur. That is not the point, Dave. If you're the slightest bit shifty, they remember you. I gleaned that much from the bloke at the travel agency. Yeah. I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, you may be feeling the first tremors of the jitters, Dave. I am in total command. Hey! Hey! What's up, what? Right. What are you doing? Well, I'm not having that. Right. Sit still. Right. Your mother didn't spend all them long hours dragging you back to school so you could start brawling with a till of the hun at the first chance. He's right, Ray. There's lots of them. Oh, you don't want to cause a fuss. Look at them, look. Every customs officer in the port clocking them. Ask him for a once over. Enjoy yourself. Last box. Thank you. Then what's going on? You let the stormtroopers straight through. Thank you. See the stare he gave me. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Everything all right, officer? Eh? Oh. Yes, thanks. Our usual car broke down, so we had to bring this van. Amazing little vehicles, these. Amazing what you can get in them. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Though I must say, I personally haven't taken advantage of that particular feature. I'm not in the habit of transporting goods in this, ever. But I have this friend who's an alcoholic, and he does appreciate a lift home in the back when he's had a drop too much. Still, now you've got it, stock up on a bit of booze, eh? Oh, no. No, no, I've never touched the stuff, personally. Look at that. The last time those cliffs had to bear witness to foreign hordes was 1066. We've had the place to ourselves for nearly a thousand years. A pity we didn't keep it that way. That is just the kind of blinkered view the new European has got to conquer, Dave. We've got to remember we're all part of a community. Hands across the ocean starting with our nearest neighbours. Yeah, this isn't what you used to say. Oh, you've got to remember all them little upset. Well, like Agincourt, 100 Years War, that sort of thing. Mere blips in an otherwise harmonious coexistence, right? I mean, look at the last big dust-up, the Great Allies. Admittedly, there was a bit of early bottling out on their part, but all said and done, we fought hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder. The French and the English are of the same stock separated by a little bit of briny, but carved from the same bow. And when all's said and done, one man's cock of air is another man's chicken in the basket. This is the second time we've been round here, aren't we? I told you before, we should have turned right. No, it must be left. Left, look up there. The, the town sent us the other way. You've got us lost already, Arthur. It would help if they had proper signs in English. It would help if we knew where we was going. Arthur, where are we meeting this here contact? Henry. Henri. Outside a cafe. It's got a French name. You can't miss it. He's got tables outside. Like trying to spot sand dunes in the desert. Your attitude isn't helping, Ray. Don't you remember what it sounded like, Arthur? Like English words? No, I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I thought we'd stand out like a beacon. Yeah, what about this one? Shay Madeleine. No, no, that's not it. Look, can't you uh, ask? Can't you use your special knowledge? What special knowledge? The talking, the French talking. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm asking for. I'm going to have a sit down. My feet's killing me. Shut them out, Ray. Monsieur? Oui, yeah. Maintenant, uh, under toi, toi café crème, s'il vous plaît. Merci. No ice in mine and don't drown it with a tonic. Thank you. I thought of you so often. You haven't changed at all. Sir. Uh, excuse me, madam. Do I know you? Charlie. It is you. Oh, no. Oh, what I have done. Oh, I'm so sorry. You look like a friend I knew a long time ago. An English soldier. You have the same military bearing. Well, one never loses the appearance of a coiled spring. And I have done my bit for Queen and Country, but sadly, not the squad of fond memory. Arthur Daly, at your service. It's my pleasure. An honor to have any British serviceman at my table. Oh, this is your place? Mm hmm Chez Madeleine. It used to be chez Jacques, but since I was widowed. Oh, no, 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 that's me, for the confusion. And I hope you'll join me for something a little more stronger. How kind. Our interpreter seems to be a little bit ring rusty on the food and drink front. Mm. 
Charming woman. Henry, at last. Henri, uh, je m'appelle Raimondo, et... Uh... Oh, uh, what happened? I thought you got into trouble. <laughs> hello, Henry, what you doing here? Oh, hello, Dave. How are you? Hold up. Uh, uh, are, are you him? Henri? Well, I prefer it with a Y, but I'm not fussed. Now, listen, there's a couple of things we need to get sorted out. Let's get back to my place. Well, couldn't we discuss it here? I mean, it seems a pity to move when everyone's so comfortable. Place to live, you know, Arthur. Not if you've got a nervous stomach. <laughs> Food is lethal. Look, could we consider the state of your health at a later date, Henry? Now, about our gear. What can I say? I'm sorry. The delivery should have been there today, but there's been some sort of hold-up. Isn't due in now till tomorrow, so there's no point us going round to the <coughs> warehouse because there'd be nothing there. Marvelous. Well, what happens now? There's plenty of places for you to stay. I'll, I'll sort you out somewhere. Look, I've got to get back. I've got a bar to see through. Yeah, look, we don't want to chuck the baby out with a bath water. Oh, excuse me. I must get that ringer fixed. Yeah, I thought you had this organised, Arthur. There was I thinking you was getting any European co-development deals. Turns out you made a couple of calls to an old mate from the smoke. Yeah, I wish you'd said something, Arthur. I mean, Henry's never been reliable. He gets too wound up. Best thing is to get down the Arthur Market and stock up there. Right. We've got to get back tonight, Arthur. Look, it's just a matter of finding a decent B&B, keeping down for the night and completing the deal in the morning. Yeah, I wonder if that place where we had coffee does rooms. Oh, Arthur, if I didn't know you better... All right, you want to settle for second best? Go ahead. I'm going to get Henry to help me try and shift the Eiffels. That was one of my men. The stock will definitely be there tomorrow. It's A1 stuff. And it doesn't come any cheaper. Yet, sadly, the English spirit of adventure is lacking in my two companions, Henry. They're about to do the co-op run. You've been away with him before, Dave, haven't you? A long time ago, we went to Grimsby. Had to drop in on this geezer what owed him some money. And how was he? How do you mean? Well, you know, he didn't let his hair down, did he? <laughs> no more than usual. Here, one night we had a few too many, but nothing serious. No, not like that. I mean, he wasn't interested in, well, like, playing away. Playing away? Yeah, it didn't strike you that he was ever involved with any of the, uh, away from home stuff. Oh, no, he stopped playing by then. It was ligaments, you know. In any case, we was out of season. Why are you asking? Dave, the widow Madeleine. He seems a bit keen. Oh, no, that sort of stuff. No, there's no worries there, Ray. I know Arthur. Thank God for that. I wouldn't have been out to look auntie in the eye. Yeah, we better crack on. Right. I've always admired the French. De Gaulle, Pompidou, Distel, leaders of men. Yes, but for your bravery in the war, where would we be now? Oh, please, my part was but modest. And any minor arthritic condition I'm suffering from due to the fateful machine gun assault is well worthwhile to see you here enjoying the fruits of your labor. <laughs> here he is. Oh. oh, you scared me to death lurking around in here. Yeah, we haven't been lurking, we've been waiting. It was Arthur. Well, we didn't get rid of any of the Eiffels. I dropped him off in town. He, he was due back here an hour ago. Well, he never said anything. I thought you knew where he was. Yeah, we probably do. Arthur, what do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? We've had nothing solid since the ferry. Oh, come on, hurry up. What's he on about? Well, Mr. Ferry, Arthur. We've got loads of time. Arthur, you haven't put your watch forward. You're an hour late. Come on, Arthur. Oh, my God. Madeleine, I'm sorry to have to leave you like this. Captain Daly, a great pleasure to see you, if ever you come again. Without fail. Today's venture is but the beginning. Arthur! Oh, What's no good looking at me like that? I didn't know there was only so much room. First come, first serve. Oh, yeah, it's all very well being wise after the event. And what are we going to do now? Well, I'm not hanging around waiting for another one. What's French for ensuite facilities? Uh. 
All I'm saying is that Madeleine is an excellent hostess, and we're known to her. It seems a logical place to stop. But it is a cafe, Arthur. It doesn't do rooms. <laughs> you sure it means full? Positive. Why don't we keep in the van? Look, there's a blanket in the back. We could open a bottle of booze with a bit of a lark. Never thought of becoming a scout, Master Dane. Hey, yep. There's no sign there. Perseverance, Ray. Seek and you shall find. Uh, Avez-vous des chambres, s'il vous plaît? Switching the lights off till I hear him speak. Nice. Well, you want an extra room, you pay. No, well, we've done all that cash at the hypermarket here. And if you remember, the plan was to end the day, Shea Winchester. What'd you say this place was named after? La Bastille. A state prison, burnt down during the revolution. All of it. I knew Shane Madeleine should have been our port of court. That looked more than capable of accommodating three weary travellers. You don't look all that weary to me, Arthur. She spoke excellent English. I'm sure I could have negotiated a favourable rate. Look, we are not going back there again. It may hold pleasant memories for you, Arthur, but for the rest of us, it represents the first step on the slippery slope that leads us here. Hey, what's happening? Hold on to your valuables. No, 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 it's all right, sir. It's only the lights. Are you putting coins in there? Make a note. We get it knocked off the bill. Arthur, it's a design. Well, it's on a timer. It goes off once you get in bed. Yeah, what are we going to do about that? I mean, my maths ain't top-notch, but... The... Dave, there is no way I can ask you to take the chair or the cot. Ray, take your pick. Oh, no way, Arthur. The person who calls the foul up ought to get the bad neck. <laughs> no, there is some disagreement about that one, Ray. Yeah, another advantage of Shane Madeleine is non-stop electricity. Arthur... As the older of the purse strings, I think it's only fair that I should get one of the beds. Why? You are the person who forgot what time it was. You should get a backbreaker. All right, all right. We'll draw lots. What? Dave? Which hand is the coin in? Well done, Dave. Ray? Which hand? Left. A big pardon? Left. What, do you mean my left or left as you're looking at me? Yeah, I mean your left. This one. Oh, not again. I think you said left, Ray. Can I have a blanket? Easing up a bit, right? The blood's coming back, I think. That'll be all right. The nerve of the man charged us for breakfast. So? Or crumbly bread rolls and a cup of coffee. Where was the kippers and the kedgeree? Oh, Arthur, let's not argue about it. As soon as you get home, you can have a full fry up. Right now, I just want to get back and have a shave and a shower. Yeah, me and all, and sort the Winchester out. This has cost us a day's takings, Arthur. Bad, is it? Left the Eiffel Towers. If you'd listened to me in the first place, none of this would have happened. If we'd caught the ferry last night, we could have been loading the stock into the Winchester by now. I said we should have kept in the van, Ray could have hit him with a bottle of claret. You want a job doing, do it yourself. Well, why didn't you then? Because no man can run an empire on his own, Ray. As soon as a casual waver's in place, the old enterprise collapses. And that's what you were doing at Shea Mad Lane's, was it? Managing your empire? Well, now, come on, let's not fall out over this. It was just one of them things. We can claim on the insurance. We can claim on the insurance, Arthur. I passed on that particular option. You did what? Look, it's 20 miles. They're supposed to be our friends. What could go wrong? Let's see. Let's see what's in play. Ray, have another word. Show him your passport, Her Britannic Majesty. It won't do no good, Arthur. Blow on the desk, send the inspector's busy. Will he see us when he can? Does he know who we are? I hope you told him we're not here for some trifling reason. We are victims of an international incident. 
Bonjour, monsieur. Commissaire Rocher. Bonjour. Ray, leave this to me. You translate, I'll tell him what we want. Arthur Daly, London, mm. England. Now, look here. There's supposed to be a new age of solidarity in Europe. One for all or all for one. Now, while this is the case in our green and pleasant land, I have grave doubts about your lot. Monsieur, it's monsieur. all very well welcoming us off a boat with a smile and a wave, but where is the notice saying hang on to your wallet? Monsieur. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I flogged a Renault last week. I gave it a glowing reference. And what is my reward? I am not here but 24 hours before a gang of French tea leaves has it away with the entire contents of my van. I mean, we try. We try to forget the unsavoury incidents of the past. The odd invasion. De Gaulle and his mates not letting us join the common market, just when it would be worth having a dip. Tons of British lamb carcasses strewn willy-nilly across the autobahn. But in the end, you have to face facts. Lord Nelson had it right. Well, that's it. You don't want to be more specific? Yeah, but perhaps you better mention Colditz or wherever we happened to spend last night. Tell them to get Health Inspector around there. But be firm. They are notoriously slow at getting anything done unless you put your foot down. Aye. Right. I think maybe I'll paraphrase. Uh... Uh, there is no need. My English is uh, reasonably good. Perhaps we should step into my office, if you have no objection. I have a feeling we've probably got off on the wrong foot there, Arthur. Right, that's that. I will give you a copy for your insurance purposes. If we have any more information, we'll let you know. But um, to be quite frank, a van load of alcohol... Um, it's unlikely. Yes, yeah, sadly, our visit here and any insurance undertaking didn't quite coincide. So, what about a refund? I mean, we spent a fortune on that booze. I understand it was your two friends who purchased the goods. Whatever personal allowance they chipped in is neither here nor there. I am bankrolling the operation. Operation? Visit? Look, I wish you'd stop behaving as if we'd done something wrong. We were going about our lawful business when we were burgled by a foreign faction. Now, how about showing a bit of European cooperation? and bungy us a few francs for what we lost. <laughs> well, that's quite impossible. I mean, you may have made up the whole story. Do we look like fabricators? Let's say that in France, we try very hard not to give in to our prejudices. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. I'm going French free when we get back. To think I was in the vanguard, putting trade their way. You regret plenty, I can tell you. You're right. Hey. What time's the next ferry? Well, from what I can make out, yeah, the next one's in three hours. Well, we can't go back yet. We're still severely compromised on the cash front. I'll cut your losses off. Well, let's write the whole thing off as a bad idea. No, we got to recoup. It's still not too late to contact Henry, work something out with him. We could still go back in credit. Oh, but this whole thing's been a foul up from start to finish. We'd be stupid to hang around any longer. I never thought I'd see a daily chuck the towel in so early. I wish I'd brought one. Oh, come on, Arthur, time's up. All right, be it on your own head. But the vanishing drinkables won't pay for themselves, you know. Come the end of the month, your wage packet could be a little on the light side. Not his fault, Arthur. Oh, that's very noble of you to take some of the blame, Dave. But that still doesn't reimburse me for the theft. Look, Arthur. I'm going to find a nice cafe, sit down, have a glass of wine, and try and salvage one good memory from this whole expedition. You can please yourself whether you join me or not. You going with him? It is the sensible thing to do, Arthur. Come on. You got no money. Cheers, Arthur. I only put all mine in paying for the booze. I'll let you have it back when we get to England. No, I've got some unfinished business to do. I'll see you back at Hotel Alcatraz in a couple of hours. I'll take the van. Dear, dear. Henry! Henry! You in here? Arthur? I thought you'd gone. We decided your offer was too good to miss. Well, what about the other stuff you bought? Caught. Now, is our deal still on? I don't know, Arthur. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting you. I'd, I'd had it all fixed up for this afternoon, but it's getting late. What a pity. Me with all this money in my pocket. Oh, thank God for that. Bit of comfort at last, Dave. Yeah, I think we did the right thing, right, sticking to this side of town. We don't want to crab Arthur's style. Yeah, that's beyond me why he doesn't admit it. 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with a fond farewell. It's not like he's preparing to elope with her, is it? Well, to absent friends. Cheers. On the right, Arthur. How many more times? I told you I'm not used to this vehicle. Your left is left and right is right. It doesn't matter what you're driving. Well, if you think you can do any better... Arthur! I need to follow the map. We can hardly steam in down the main road, now, can we? Well, it seems like a very good idea to me. Here. Have one of these. The beta blockers. I have been known to have the odd aspirin on New Year's Day, Henry. But I draw the line at anything stronger. <laughs> Nerves of steel are a tremendous. It's just what we need. This, uh, this won't take too long, will it? I mean, I can't afford to be hanging around. <laughs> Who can, Arthur? <laughs> Don't worry. Straight in, straight out. Oh. Arthur? Louis? Louis? Arthur. How do you do? Ça va? You, uh, you did translate that list I gave you into French, didn't you? You know, all the gear I'm after. Only, um, I had one little experience today that suggests the locals are a drop or two short of a full optic. There's no trouble, Arthur. We'll look after you. Good. Good. Dave, it's not like Arthur going pursuing women. <laughs> he never had to, right? It was always them pursuing him. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Yes. Throw bell. I know it's hard to believe, Ray, but I always used to envy Arthur in the old days. He was quite a pull. But he was sharp. He had cash. A motor. The women used to flock round. Well, he gives me air graph as so much as see the same girl twice. Oh, well, he never used to see. He's always too busy ducking and diving. Didn't want to get tied down. Yeah, what happened with Auntie then? Ah, oh, a legend, right? She swept him off his feet. He never looked at another woman since. <laughs> Very good, Arthur. Make us all nice and comfy. Very nice. The goal, you boss, could do it for Yeah, Pierre and Jean-Paul, I thought we might need a bit of muscular help. Good thinking, Henry. My back's not up to heavy lifting these days. You wait here. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, careful. They're breakables. Hey, what's the rush? We're getting there, Arthur. They don't believe in a softly, softly approach, do they? Mm, as you said, there's no point hanging about. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> do you mind if we settle up now, Arthur? No, of course not. There you go. It's all there, but feel free to count it. Oh, no way. Your word's legend. Pleasure doing business. Excuse the sweaty palm, adrenaline. What's that? Oh, no. What's happening? Leg it, Arthur! <laughs>
Mr. Daly, back so soon. Though I do hope my men behaved in a way that was acceptable to you. I must admit that on occasions they are unaccountably French. You go and get him, Dave. He won't take any notice of me. Yeah, what if he says he wants five minutes more? Oh, well, he can't have them. Not unless he wants to do the return leg solo. No sign of Madeline either. Oh, my God. You better go and get him. No way, Dave. You're his best friend. You go. I'm sorry, Ray. There are certain things that makes prepared to do. Yeah, but I'm family. Think of the trauma. Oh, good afternoon. You, you, you've been shopping? Yes. Is that the normal practice over here? What do you mean? Where's Arthur? I haven't seen him. I thought you had all left. Please, try and see it from my point of view. Hmm? A warehouse is broken into, the alarm systems are operated, my men speed to the scene of the crime, and on their arrival, they find you, climbing from a van stuffed full of the same merchandise that moments before was stolen from the warehouse. It's not like it seems. Oh, no, 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 it gets better. We have a suspect at the scene of the crime. We have the evidence all about his person. And the best thing is, we know that this same man was himself a victim of a theft a few hours before, was uninsured, and was therefore most keen to recover something of what he had lost. You are not in a strong position, Mr. Daly. I assure you I am innocent of all the charges. In addition, you have made it quite clear that you hold our country in low regard. Therefore, you would have no remorse about committing a crime of this kind. You are taking all my previous remarks out of context. Oh, yes. What else did you say? Uh, remember Waterloo? How can you trust a nation that eats garden slugs? Yeah, I was upset. I'd had a terrible shock. Tell me, Mr. Daly, have you ever seen the film Papillon? Are you sure you don't mind? Of course not. I'm happy to assist. Oh, I hope he's all right. Where are we going? Your brains seem a little scrambled, Mr. Daly. I think you need some time to reconsider what you've said. I don't know what you're talking about. In years to come, Mr. Daly, French students will study this. Alongside Zola and Hugo up there with Voltaire and Moliere, this will be regarded as one of the greatest works of fiction ever undertaken in France. That is a sequence of events as accurate as I can remember. You've got to take into account I had a disturbed night of slumber the previous evening. I was in a fragile state. I decided to go for a drive. I wanted to revisit the fields where my father, grandfather and three uncles had been so horribly wounded in the defence of this country. It would also remind me of my own times during the war when I had soared above the green fields below in an attempt to stop the Nazis from ruling the world. Oh, uh, in brackets, uh, Paris included. I was merely anxious to correct your strange misapprehension that I was not wholly behind the Gallic cause. Nothing could be further from the truth. The dailies have always been staunch supporters of the French. Tired by the heavy emotional toll of this journey, I pulled up for a little nap. I opened the back doors of the van as it was a warm day. Well, your men had a sweat on when they chucked me in a black Mariah for questioning. Please, Mr. Daly. I was awoken by a rocking sensation and a loud noise. I heard a voice shout, quick, that van looks Andy. That is when I was awoken. I tried to stop the men, who incidentally were all masked, but they legged it. That was when your brave boys arrived on the scene, just as I was about to give chase. It could save us so much time and effort if you could recount what actually went on, Mr. Daly. I hope you're not casting aspersions on my honesty. I don't know what the rules are here, but in England, that is a very serious offence. I'll see you later. Give me a call if your memory clears in the meantime. Here, where am I going? Deserted. I can't find a soul here. I don't like this, Ray. Arthur wouldn't wander off on his own, not abroad. Try the hotel. You might as well. This is all a terrible state. I'm a British subject. Come on, get me the embassy. You can't do this to me.
Sure. If you think he got confused, took an earlier ferry. Maybe he's down at the docks. Dave, we're gonna have to report him missing. I'll go with you, of course. Il faut absolument qu'on le voit, c'est très important. Allez demander. Merci. He's here, isn't he? Well, what's happened? I can't keep up. Captain Daly has been arrested. I speak a little English. Very good. I've been at sea. Yeah, well, that would be logical. Six months. It's very lonely. Don't have dead coins. I like your hat. It suits you. Oh, my God. Arthur. Oh! Right. In the nick of time. Come on, get this unlocked and get me out of here. You can't go anywhere, Arthur. They caught you red-handed. I mean, what were you doing? I was trying to make up for the stuff we had nicked. By indulging in a bit of out of ours yourself? I didn't know he was pulling a job. We had crossed lines. Well, have you told him? What? About Henry. Well, it's the only way you stand a chance. No, I'm not grassing, Ray. That goes against the grain. Arthur, do you want to get out of here or not? Oh, that's a matter of principle. Captain Daly. I know this is all some terrible mistake. I will contact an old friend, a fine lawyer. He'll come and see you first thing in the morning. Morning? The inspector's gone, Arthur. We can't do nothing till then. What, what about bail? I thought you'd bung a few quid and we'd be back at the Winchester before they'd finish their morning cocoa. Oh, sorry, Arthur. We can't do anything until tomorrow morning. Let's just get some sleep, eh? Sleep? I don't think so, Ray. I hope he's all right. Hey? I hope he's all right. Oh, well, I hope this lawyer is. He's in stuck otherwise. What about prison? How do you mean? If he goes down, do you want to do it over here or will they transfer him to an English nick? Well, there's that big one on the Isle of Wight. Maybe they'll send him there, split the difference. I'll tell you what, Dave, if he doesn't mention Henry, I will. It's his only option. You can't do that, Ray. Yeah, why not? Arthur has never squealed. And that means a lot to him. Yeah, but Dave, it's not his fault. Not this time. Merci, Didier. Merci beaucoup. Merci, au revoir. I'm sorry. Didier says Captain Delay is in a very weak position. There is little he can do for him. There is no need. Mr. Daly is free to go. We've caught the instigator. We've been observing him for some time. He confirms that Mr. Daly had no idea whatsoever he was involved in a raid. He was duped. C'est la vie. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. Henry, what's going on? Oh, Ray. You haven't got any paracetamol, have you? I mean, the way this lot burst in, yelling and shouting, you'd think they never heard her coming quietly. Yeah, but what about Arthur? They're letting him go. Well, it's no point us both copping for it. I mean, I'm Nick, but Arthur can go home on my say-so. Well, at least I can do. Old Rochelle was dying to get him. He told me about what Arthur said, about the raid. That's priceless. No mention of me at all. You've got to admire that, Ray. Careful, I've got an ulcer. Whenever I look at it, I will think of you. It has been my pleasure. Mine too. Perhaps the next time business... Sadly, daily into Europe will be taking a little less of the hands-on approach to the Europe bit from now on. But if I'm here for any other reason, I'll definitely call in. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. It's time to go. Au revoir. 
开了。I shall have nightmares about this trip for the rest of my life. Yeah, next time you want me to get on a ferry with you, Arthur, unless it's leaving from Woolwich, forget it. Well, at least we can crack through customs without feeling guilty. Green Channel, right? We've got nothing to declare. What's the problem? Routine check. I'll just have a look in the back, if I may. Well, it's open. Nothing there. Exactly. How can we go? A big transit van that you'd normally expect to be struggling to cope with the weight on its axle, laden down with booze and other goodies, is, in fact, empty, completely bare. If you've got a problem, mate... I have. Perhaps you'd like to step down from the vehicle. I have had more successful operations. All I want to do now is forget about it. No, never make that mistake, Ray. The successful entrepreneur is never beaten, just temporarily off target. I mean, the concept was good. Cheap baboos means higher profits. The mistake was crossing the sea to the land of the heathen. We should have looked closer at the home. Arthur, what are you talking about? Does Bert still have that own brew kit? I mean, how different can it be? 